Hi and welcome to this video on an important Cubase skill which is keyboard shortcuts. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. What? Really? Uh, but yeah, it really is important. The reason is that you can drastically reduce the amount of mileage that you're getting with your mouse moving around the screen uh, and work much more quickly if you get used to a few keyboard shortcuts. Now this isn't about learning every keyboard shortcut there is. This is about the important ones that will make your workflow much quicker and make you much more efficient. And so you can concentrate on making music rather than concentrating on being a computer programmer effectively. So we're going to run through those. Now, first ones important are zoom in and out horizontally here, which is G and H on your keyboard. And then you've got shift G and H, which do the same vertically. So you can quickly zoom in and out. Um, as far as display is concerned as well, if you're using Cubase 9, two important new keyboard shortcuts are Control-Alt-E for the lower zone and Control-Alt-R for the right zone. So that will allow you to see your instruments, media bay, etc. or your whichever editor you're using down the bottom, but then get back to the uh, main project window really quickly. Uh, Control-Alt-L actually does the left zone where the inspector is, but that's a little less common that you're going to want to use that, and that's probably why it's a little less easy to do with one hand. Next up, Snap. So Snap is located at the top. It's this toggle here, which you can click on and off. But J on your keyboard does it, so that's really useful for when you want to turn it off, which is often when you're you know, doing audio or MIDI, MIDI editing and you just want to move things around a little without having to stick on the uh, grid. Next up, cycling through your tools. Now, you may well know that if you right-click, you get a toolbar, and if you shift and right-click, you get a different form of that toolbar with some of the uh, shortcuts already shown on there, and also most of the menu options that would be relevant, depending on what you've got uh, selected. But you can also, as the second menu showed, go through those tools using the number keys. Now, these are the number keys at the top of your main keyboard, so... The most useful one for me really is one because one not only allows you to select that it also means you can quickly go through the three modes of the selection tool so normal sizing uh, and time warp is probably the one people want to use most and you can flip between the two quite quickly using that next locators so locators are really useful for working quickly because you want to be able to cycle around sections etc and so on and you can set them really easily by whatever you've got selected you can click just p on your keyboard so if you hit p you can see the locators have got set around the part that i've got selected there uh, and that makes moving around really quick for that and if you want to go to your left or right locator it's one and two on your numeric keypad so again, you can see there we're moving to the left and right locators, which is really useful, really quick if you want to get to edit a part. So often, if you want to edit a particular part and start listening to it, you can just click on it, hit P, and then 1, and it takes you there. It saves having to mess around with the mouse and so on. Um, while we're here and talking about loops and cycles and so on, uh, divide key on your keyboard. So that turns cycle on and off, and you can see here the color changing and the transport reflecting that and don't forget the next to it star is record okay so star will record on any uh, tracks you've got uh, record enabled I didn't have anything record enabled there but you'll get the idea plus and minus on the numeric keypad will rewind and fast forward so again you can navigate around your project fairly quickly without having to use the mouse because often it's it's difficult to to click in the right place in here or if you click and drag etc you can end up zooming in and out and so on so using those can be really useful now as far as transport controls are concerned as well you all know that the space bar is play and stop it toggles between the two you can also do that with enter on the numeric keypad. So enter on the numeric keypad is just play and zero on the numeric keypad is stop. And then it will take you back to where you started from before. So if you hit it once, it stops. But if I hit zero again, it will take me back to where I was just now, which is uh, useful for recycling bits that you don't want to just set the uh, locators around. Now, opening and closing windows. Again, the function keys do most of this, but the most common ones, really, F3. So F3 summons your mixer. Now, if I maximize that, we will see that also G and H, which is what I'm doing now, G and H zoom in and out, both horizontally and shift G and H. 
zoom in and out vertically as well so those work exactly the same as for the project window and f11 useful key to get your vst instrument rack up and f12 to look at your uh, vst performance so if you've got a song which is glitching you can keep an eye on it nice and easily with that so that's really useful for that now last bit i want to go through is some keyboard shortcuts as far as uh, manipulating parts and also most of these work for notes as well so you can copy and paste now the thing that a lot of people don't get with copy and paste in cubase is it depends on which track you were on where things get pasted in so if we take this here if i click on this i copy with Control c as you would expect if i want to paste this now if i click there so we paste in at the play position if i paste now it will actually get pasted in on this other track the reason is it pastes in on the active track so you see there we've ended up in the wrong place which is often a little bit annoying but copy cut and paste other than that work as you would expect uh, a really useful keyboard shortcut particularly if you're building up uh, an arrangement where you've got lots of four eight sixteen bar long pieces etc is Control d Control d does a duplicate straight away which often is what people want to do when they're doing copy and pasting and that is pretty much it now there are obviously a whole load of other things you can do with keyboard shortcuts so you can set them to pretty much any function of the program you can go to file and then key commands there's this which we're going to look at in another video uh, but all I'm dealing with here is standard keyboard shortcuts because I move from school to school place to place studio to studio etc so these are all the ones which are uh, just standard ones and they're real productivity boosters so that means you you work just so much faster so remember if you have your your left hand if you're right-handed have your left hand on the keyboard right hand on the mouse get used to these and moving between them and you will work so much more quickly and efficiently